Hello and welcome to this week's PlayStation 4 News, the show where I keep you updated on everything PlayStation. So if you are new, then be sure to hit that subscribe button to help the channel to grow. But with that said, let's do it. First up this week, Ghost Recon Breakpoint has been officially revealed by Ubisoft. Bit of a shame that it leaked 24 hours before the reveal, but we can now confirm that the follow-up to Wildlands is Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Now, they revealed a whole bunch of information with regards to the game, so I'll run through that quite quickly now for you. The first of which is that you'll be able to play solo, co-op, or with up to three players online. It will take place in an open world map. There are some new survival mechanics, such as treating wounds. There's a camping system that lets you organize your squad and rest out in the open world. Enemies are constantly patrolling the map, so you always have to be on your toes. Vehicles return with land, sea and air traversal all accounted for. The game will have four character classes at launch, but more will follow via DLC. Character customization returns. Ghosts can be male or female. There are skills to unlock for each character class. There are more ways to customize your weapons than ever before. Ubisoft also confirmed that every four months they'll be releasing a significant expansion for Breakpoint. And Breakpoint will be getting raids, which is pretty awesome. There'll also be a PvP mode at launch and all character progress will carry over between every game mode in the game. And the final thing they released was the release date, so Ghost Recon Breakpoint will be releasing on October the 4th, 2019, and I'm actually impressed by this game. I think it looks good. They've just taken what was good with the previous Ghost Recon, and they've built on it. So what more can you ask for? But that is Ghost Recon Breakpoint releasing on October the 4th, 2019. Sony have confirmed the release date for the remake of Medieval. It'll launch on October the 25th, 2019, and people are universally praising the game for staying faithful to the original but from this trailer, for me, it looks really dated. I think the game mechanics, the gameplay, etc. all look really dated, in my opinion. I mean, I didn't feel like this was Spyro or Crash, the remakes, I have to say. So, I'm calling it. I think the remake of Medieval is going to be a bit of a letdown. But it will be released on October the 25th. The 1989 arcade version of Ninja Gaiden is now available on PlayStation 4. It released midweek, so yeah, go check it out. Apex Legends patch 1.0. 08 is now live, it improves stability and performance, but that was a lie because the patch has actually caused consoles to crash whilst attempting to load Apex Legends. Long story short, the crash only happens if players have a very certain banner selected for their character. That has now been disabled, so yeah, happy days, Apex Legends is working again, and the patch 1.08, which improves stability and performance, no longer kills your PlayStation, it actually does improve stability and performance. Roll Cage Copycat Grip has added anti gravity vehicles called airblades as a free patch to the game the airblade vehicles are available on all tracks i just love that i still see this game as a ripoff of roll cage i mean roll cage was actually released in 1999 yes roll cage was released 20 years ago but i'm still calling grip a ripoff sony have revealed river bond which is a pixelated dungeon crawler scheduled for release this summer the game features four player local co-op and it looks okay I kind of feel like I've seen this before, but yeah, Riverbond is launching on the PlayStation 4 this summer. Out of nowhere, the creator of Thomas Was Alone and Volume, Mike Patel, has revealed John Wick Hex. It looks like an action strategy game. It's a cel-shaded art style which looks superb. There's no release date, but I can assume it's going to be this year. But yes, John Wick Hex will be landing on the PlayStation 4 very soon. Unruly Heroes will be launching on May the 28th. 2019 on the PlayStation 4 and to me this is what platformers should look like in 2019 it looks crisp clean modern and I'm actually looking forward to playing this game, but that is Unruly Heroes launching on the PlayStation 4 on May the 28th, 2019. 3D platformer Tamarin has been announced for the PlayStation 4 with a summer release window. It's a brand new trailer and it looks like a harmless, fun platformer. The blurb goes as follows. Leap with the agility of a Tamarin as you journey into the northern wilderness in a world full of exploration, 3D platforming and bug splattering action. Yeah, that's pretty much it, but that's Tamarin launching on the PlayStation 4 
this summer. Dead by Daylight developers have accidentally leaked the next DLC character for the game. It's going to be Ghostface from Scream. They came out and confirmed that yes, the next chapter will indeed be based around Ghostface. There's no confirmation of a release date. It was leaked via a stream. But yeah, there you go. The next DLC character for Dead by Daylight will be Ghostface from Scream. EA have confirmed that their subscription service EA Access will go live on PlayStation 4 this July. It gives you exclusive discounts, early access to games, and access to a pretty decent EA back catalogue of games. It will cost you £19.99p for a whole year, which isn't bad value for money at all. That, I mean... Wait, did, did I just praise an EA product? The May PlayStation Now update is now live. Games added include Batman Arkham Knight, Metal Gear Revengeance, Lego Ninjago, Atari Flashback Classics Volume 2, Wild Guns Reloaded, and more. And I have to say, wow, this service is getting games that I now have sat in my drawer waiting to be completed. Looking at you, Batman Arkham Knight. Every single month with PlayStation Now, it's getting pretty damn good. So PlayStation Now, you are this close to getting my money. Unbelievably, the last ever Super Monkey Ball game was released seven years ago on the Vita. Well, good news, Monkey Ball fans, because Sega have filed for a new trademark called Tabagoro Super Monkey Ball. Now, rumors strongly suggest this may well be a remaster of a game, but I'd fully expect Sega to make an official announcement at this year's E3 conference. But yes, it looks like Super Monkey Ball will be coming to current gen consoles very soon. Released on May the 10th, Just Shapes and Beats is out now on the PlayStation 4. Now, the Nintendo Switch version of this game scored 9 out of 10 in reviews. It supports up to four players. And with a score of 9 out of 10, it's probably worth checking out, but that is just Shapes and Beats Hardcore Edition out now. Developer Breakpoint have confirmed they are re-releasing 2018's Tennis World Tour as Tennis World Tour Roland Garros Edition. It's a year's worth of patches included on the disc, as well as Spanish tennis superstar Rafael Nadal. Now, they claim to have further improved gameplay. It's going to be released on the 23rd of May 2019. It looks a bit like a PlayStation 2 game, I have to say, but that is Tennis World Tour Roland Garros Edition releasing on the 23rd of May 2019. Who would have thought this would be happening? Well, we all know the first day or so for World War Z wasn't particularly smooth with connection issues, which every online game seems to have at the moment. However, that game has certainly ascended to greatness, selling well over 1 million copies and counting, and it's now reported across the internet that nobody can find a physical copy of World War Z. It is sold out everywhere. So yeah, congrats to Saber Interactive. Long may it continue. Monster Hunter World Iceborne has been revealed with a release date of September the 6th. Now, this massive expansion will include new monsters, new equipment, and new environments to explore. And I have to say, the trailer that was shown during the State of Play live stream was awesome, so be sure to check that out. But that is Monster Hunter World Iceborne releasing on September the 6th. Sticking with the State of Play live stream, they also revealed Away the Survival Series. There's no release date, it's the very first trailer, but it's pretty awesome, so check it out. This idyllic place is our world. It has every appearance of paradise. From the white sand beaches to the mighty treetops, it appears still and peaceful. But if you look closer, there is more to this than meets the eye. Every living being is locked in a deadly competition. Ahead lurks the land of great danger for some, and opportunities for others. But our world has changed. To survive, we too must change. Will you have what it takes to survive? Away.
The final story of the week as always is your UK game sales chart and it's back people in at number 10 is Minecraft PlayStation Edition, number 9 is The Evil Within 2, number 8 Snooker 19 the official video game, number 7 Marvel Spider-Man, number 6 Sekiro Shadows Die Twice, number 5 is Grand Theft Auto 5, number 4 is FIFA 19, number 3 Red Dead Redemption 2, number 2 is Mortal Kombat 11 and and staying at number one is Days Gone. There you have it, that's it for another week. If you're new around here and you want to stay up to date with everything PlayStation, then please do hit that subscribe button to help the channel to grow. If you enjoy the video, then you know what to do. Smash that thumbs up. And in the comments section, let me know what you think about Ghost Recon Breakpoint. I actually think it looks really good. I'm kind of looking forward to a Ghost Recon game, which is awesome. So yes, let me know your thoughts on Ghost Recon Breakpoint in the comment section below. Apart from that, Thank you for watching, thank you for the support, you're all awesome, enjoy your week, enjoy your gaming, see you later.